So all three of those things are happening at the same time. People have equity, people have jobs. They're not gonna let their housings go. And there's just a, more of an appetite for space for your personal homes. But what do you happen to think about, you know, your uh, area of expertise, which is commercial real estate? Do you, do you feel like the values are uh, hyperinflated? Do you feel like we're in a bubble? So, yeah, it's an interesting question. I, I think that it deserves a lot of discussion around it because, um, first of all, like there, a lot of people are comparing 2022 to 2006 or 2008. And what I would say to that is it's very different. It's very hard to compare. And so like, if you think about it on a macroeconomic spectrum, we know we have booms and busts and we have, uh, but traditionally we never really repeat the same mistakes within our lifetime, right? So that's why you'll see big resets like every 80, 100 years, because that's the typical lifespan of a human being. And so we just had a real estate related crash in 2008, right? Like I, I personally don't believe we're going to have another one. Um, we, you know, 1987.com bubble, uh, ironically, 100 years ago was, was a uh, stock market created bubble, the Great Depression, Black Monday in 1929. That was like the Dow Jones had grown by 90% uh, in a year or, or two years, or is either, it was something like that. It was like, Imagine like right now, if the S&P had doubled, right, in one year. Um, that would be crazy. We're, we're not seeing that type of growth. And then to bring it back to housing and, and real estate, there's three factors that are very different. Number one is the fact that banks are very strict on lending because of what happened. And so they're going through and they're making sure everybody who gets a home can't afford it. They're making sure that they're checking your taxes. You know what I mean? Like there's none of these ninja loans, no income, no asset, no job loans going around. And there's making sure on top of that, that you have equity in the house. So not only do you have to prove that you can pay for this house every single month based on the income that you had, you also have to be putting down 10% equity. And what happened was when real estate, residential real estate prices increased by 10, 15, 20% in a single year, and the bank wasn't lending the money, they made up that different in, difference in cash. So these are not people in 2006 who bought houses waiting for them to go up in value and then flip them. Like these are people who have a lot of skin in the game. And, um, yeah, the third thing would just be most most people right now are want more space. There's genuinely a bigger demand because of COVID. They switched to having like as small space as possible to as big of a space as possible. So all three of those things are happening at the same time. People have equity. People have jobs. They're not going to let their houses go. And there's just a, more of an appetite for personal space for your personal homes.